Hi, this is Jake with LifelinePetSupplies.com and today we're covering the Large Clearview Heat Lamp Incubator with Digital Humidity. This is going to be a new unit. We've previously offered the Large Hinge Door Heat Lamp, just base model, without the Digital Humidity System. And I kind of want to cover this unit just up to show some of the features um, that are offered with it. I know a lot of people are under the assumption that you need to remove the top completely for this unit and, and you really don't it's pretty simple and I just kind of want to go over some of the connections uh, we've got this unit hooked to a uh, Respironics Everflow and of course you've got the digital humidity pump um, hooked to it here so let's just go over a few features that are, are similar to the other units but one thing I like about I really like about this unit is that you get more internal floor space so it, it's really your biggest bang for the buck in terms of of money there and usable floor space that is the distance from from left to right or what we call the length or the and the distance from front to back um, there that we call the width so usable space you're looking at about 15 by uh, 20 inches in this unit which is is quite a bit compared to the hinge door model so you can fit more puppies it's it's better suited for some of your um, you know, medium to larger size breeds and dogs. We've sold several of these, but we just hadn't had a chance to we sell them so quick We hadn't had a chance to get them on the website. So let's go over some of the features and uh, we'll cover some of the connections here on the unit First off, I want to show you that we've color-coded all the connections and cords So uh, the blue is the cool and it matches here on the cord uh, the heat lamp you've got here plugs and, and you've got it marked for H for heating so heating and cooling uh, simply covered there and color coded. Uh, the yellow on this setup is actually for the controller cord coming from the other unit. So this outlet here is hot all the time. So it's a closed circuit. It's constantly hot. You can plug anything to it, but if you plug your controller on the left into it, and that's what's color coded there, it saves you one outlet into the wall if you're using a concentrator and you're just maybe using a standard wall outlet actually recommend you um, to use a surge protector so that um, you know you don't see any electrical surges from it and of course to not void your warranty you should be using a surge protector and the outlet here on the right is for the P that plugs into the humidity pump here and there's a few other connections here of course the sensors in the back I'll show you those here the temperature sensor that comes out of this box here, the temperature controller box, goes in the white grommet there at the middle on the back. You can see the one above it is for the colored actual humidity sensor. And then there's one more sensor on the humidity box. And that is actually for dehumidification, which you can do with this unit. I'm not going to cover it in this video. It's not something you're going to see a whole lot unless you're in a really humid area or you strictly want to use the unit to keep temperature down we can actually modify and use the fan to control air exchanges quickly um, that being said the fan that's on the left hand side actually protects the unit from overheating um, if you were to lose air conditioning in a room and the room become too warm uh, it will kick the fan on and keep it from from overheating the the puppies it works in tandem on the controller um, so that's really nice let me go over just a few features of the controller here because you're going to see this kick on and off here in a second and we've actually got this set for 86 degrees right now it's at 85 8 and it'll go back and forth depending upon the settings uh, actually on the controller here so you have the ability to separate both HD which is heating difference that's one tenth of a degree there, 0 0.1. I'm gonna leave it set there. And cooling difference for a tenth of a degree. So if you wanted your fan, you know, to kick on more often, we've got it delayed here for the simple reason that you don't want to draw a draft over newborn puppies. But you can check all those settings out in the video multi display temperature controller settings. The ability to control within one percent uh, on the humidity controller. And that is adjusted once it's up and running. It's just adjusted at the knob right there on the humidity pump. You just want to dial that in for the least amount of fluctuation. We have a 
toggle control switch here, lighted switch, which runs an LED puck light. We're using the latest LED puck lights in these now. So they don't put off any heat. You don't have to worry about them getting too hot. And if the unit were to cycle off on the heat, you can use that as a viewing light to see your animals inside. We've got a safety override switch here. So if you need to get in there quickly and turn the heat off, the safety override switch will do that. And I'm going to next cover a couple of the connections here on the right. So when you get your unit here on the, the right hand side, if you're looking at the, the controls and you just come here to the right, you'll have it, you'll see it's plugged with, with two plugs that look like this. And if you're not using the digital humidity setup or oxygen, which we're using both here, then you can leave those plugged. If you need more ventilation, if you're running a higher humidity, you can pop those out and just simply leave them open as additional vent ports. Um, but if you are using the digital humidity setup, this is where the blue tubing goes in the front side here. And then the back connection is for your oxygen. You can kind of see that in there. I cover that under a video called Hooking Up an Oxygen Concentrator to iLifeline Incubators. Um, so currently I am running an oxygen concentrator, which is the Everflow model. You can find these available on our website or right underneath the bundles gives you the option to to configure these. Um, one additional thing I want to cover is at the back of the unit, turn this here, you're going to see a, another black disc that's on the very back inside. And right now you can see a cord running out of there. What I'm actually using there for the floor is one of our... Um, temperature regulated heating pads so we had these pads custom made for us they heat to about 101 degrees there at a consistent temperature that's going to provide a consistent temperature at the floor you don't have to have them with the heat lamp units but i get a lot of questions of people asking us do we still offer the heating pad incubators and the beauty of these is you can do this you can use the unit with just a heating pad if you prefer that not use the lamp um, or you can use it with just the lamp, or you can use both and, and keep the um, consistency of temperature at the floor and as an air temperature. And I want to explain that an air temperature is going to be much lower than a floor temperature because you're surrounding the animal completely from both top and bottom as an air temperature. A normal air temperature for newborn puppies for about the first week is about 84 to 88. Some vets will recommend 85 to 89. I find that 89 to be a little bit warm for newborn pups when you've got them in a mainly enclosed environment um, such as this. But that um, that's a lot different than a than 100 or 101 floor temperature that our our heating pads um, you know provide. And they've got some area to go through. Um, here at the pad, so it provides a nice area. You can simply plug one of our heating pads into the wall, and then that's just going to keep the, uh, you know, the consistent floor temperature, and then you've got the surrounding air temperature if you want to use both. Um, I actually prefer the lamp models, and a lot of people get get confused thinking that this is similar to a, uh, almost to a basking lamp, like a spotting lamp, and it, and it really isn't. This is a European style bulb. Um, it is, is designed to dissipate heat evenly throughout the unit. It's not a bulb that gets super hot to the touch. These really aren't designed to get over 90 degrees as an air temperature. Um, and, and you wouldn't want that because you're just going to be too hot for puppies. So I hope this kind of covers some of the features um, of the unit. One thing really that's left is you can see the little white box there. That's a foldable adjustable cup holder. You can put a cup of water in there even with the digital humidity system. It'll keep the pump from coming on and off as much if you're in a, an area that's dry or, or you seem to be running a higher heat. You can find these on our website at lifelinepetsupplies.com. Check them out and look at our bundle packages. They are under Lifeline Products Incubator Bundles.